Hey guys, it's Zach and today we have a bar inspired leg booty lift workout. These are all standing exercises so I do recommend you grab a chair, a desk, something to hold on to. All standing, your legs are just going to fire up. So it's a lot of pulses, a lot of leg lifts. You will love it. I promise you. So give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to click that subscribe button and feel free to support this channel. I have a description box in how you can do that. Uh, but other than that, let's get this workout started and let's get ready to work out. We'll start with a warm up. Open up your feet really wide in a plie stance. So toes, knees to the corners of the roof. Hands on your hips. We'll just start with that deep plie squat and lift. Lower and lift. So make sure those knees and toes are just tracking towards the corners of the room, shoulders are down, and just imagine you're sliding down a wall. You have your chair close by, I hope, or a bench, or just something to hold on to for that extra balance work, because we will be utilizing it. We're gonna use it kind of to hold us up. Today's workout is all about those legs. You're gonna feel it in your thighs, in your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, everything. And I always think it's fun to do something different for a leg workout. I know everyone kind of just squats and lunges, but with this one, you're really going to feel a different kind of burn. You're not used to it. So four more. Three, two, one. Good. Hold the plie. Just reach the arms up and down. Just open up that chest, lifting high and low. Keep that nice low plie stance. In four, three, two, one. One and back down, releve, so alternate calf raise, one and two. So lift your heel, lift your heel. One, two, releve, up and down. Good, so right heel, left heel, right heel, left heel for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to pulsing, down one and two. Good, eight, Seven, six, five, give me four, three, two, one, stand up tall. All right, cool. So those legs are prepped and ready to go. Let's grab that chair. So I want you to start first on the side of your chair. Have your heels together, toes apart, and then feet in a small V. Start to uh, lengthen your arms so you need to push that chair away. And just keep in that long stance, just have your forearm or your hand on the chair, desk, whatever is best. Open up that side leg and lift it up to the sky. Open up your chest, pull your navel in, tailbone down. Can you point your foot, hand on your hip. We take that leg to the floor. We go down and up. Inhale and exhale. So, you have a couple options with this hand. Like I said earlier, you do forearm if you have another stable surface or you can place the palm on top of the chair. Inhale and exhale. This leg is nice and straight, and my supporting knees will be softly bent as we lift and lower, down and up. So right knee is bent, left leg long as you extend. Inhale, exhale, down and up. And really see if you can touch the floor to get a huge range of motion. Down, up, down, and up. Eight, you can already feel the burn. Seven, and six, Five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Flex your foot. We'll bring the knee in for two. Push away for two. So draw the knee in, kind of where your hip is at, hip line. So in, two, out, two. And try your best to maintain that nice long height. Inhale. Exhale, push away. Inhale. Exhale, push away. Four, four. And extend. Three. And extend. Two more. Two. And extend the last one. And hold. Point the toe. Circle. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Tennis ball size. Three. Two and reverse direction. Eight, seven, six. Open up the chest in four, three, two. Pulse it out to finish. Up and down, up and down. Can you take your arm to the sky? Make it look graceful or hand on the hip, whatever it feels best. Just do this with me. Lift that leg up an inch for eight more. Seven, six, 
five in four, it burns, three, two, one, stand tall, Woo. booty lift already, we're gonna do the same thing, but before we do that, we're gonna flip to face your chair, your bench, or your wall, see if you can do forearms first, if not, just take both your hands, make sure that chair is stable, I do not take responsibility if you have fall on your face. Liability right there. So make sure it is supporting you, okay? Double check. Walk back so your feet are parallel hip distance, so everything's facing this chair or whatever you're holding on to. Same leg, so that was your left leg. We extend the left leg back again. Bend your right knee, and all we do is lift and then tap the floor. So instead of rotating towards me, you're now to the floor. Up and down. And you can totally kind of adjust the length of your arms to whatever feels comfortable for you. The goal is just to create a nice long spine. Make sure your right knee is bent as you lift that left leg. And if you're doing this on a stable surface like a table, you can totally kind of rest on your forearms and you can place your head on your forearms as well. Or you can just follow along with what I'm doing right now. Up and down. Exhale. Inhale, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, two, one. Hold the leg in the sky, flex the foot, hamstring curl, in and out. So we drive your heel all the way in, all the way out. Curl, extend, curl, extend. So the goal is to squeeze that heel to your glute. Keep your leg long. Eight, seven, in six, five, four, three, two. Hold your heel, we pulse to the sky. Lift, one and two. So drive your heel up higher and higher. Think about supporting the ceiling. This is exactly like the moves that we do on the mat. You're just standing, so it's a little bit more challenging because you got to really use your core to stay upright. Four, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three. Point your foot, straight leg, pulse it out to take it home. Lift, lift. Now, if you really want to get crazy, you can relevé on your right foot. So you balance on your right tippy toes as you pulse that left leg up and down, up and down. One and two. Give me eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one. Stand tall. Oh, I'm telling you, it's no joke. You really feel it in those glutes and also your other glutes. So I'm feeling the burn in my opposite glute because it's supporting you. Grab water if you need it. We're gonna take that chair, repeat everything on the other side. So, standing tall again. Take those fingertips, just the top edge of that stable surface. Heels together, toes apart, be in that small B. Bend your knees. Have a slight reach down, slight hinge. Keep the chest tall. Imagine you're between two planes of glass. Take your opposite leg out to the side, or rotate that knee down. Open the chest, we lift and lower in three, two, one. Up and down. So we did these moves before, okay? You already know what to expect, but let me tell you, it's always harder the second side because your other glute that was just stabilizing, kind of holding for support, is burning. So hold on, exhale, inhale, lift, and lower, drive it up and down. I think we're creating a nice long length here. Lift and lower, lift and lower, up and down, up and down. Your shoulders are away from your ears. Four, four, three, two, one. Let's hold the leg in the sky, flex the foot, we bend in. For two, push away for two. So really control that extension. In, in, out, out, pull, in. For two, extend for two. Knee goes halfway, then really extend to straighten. Bend, bend, extend. Four, four, and press. 
three, and then press, two more, oh I'm shaking, I'm shaking, one more, all right, we got a circle, eight, seven, circle, six, five, and four, three, two, and reverse direction, eight, lift it higher, seven, six, open up the chest, take it, four, Three, we pulse in the sky, get it? One, two, you can take that arm to the sky. Lift, lift, lift. Four, eight, seven, six, hold on. Four more, three, two, one, and stand. Whew. All right, shake it off. I feel like I'm very dramatic, but I feel it. I hope you feel it too. So shake it off, shake it off. Other side, I've been told I'm very dramatic. Uh, when I come to my exercises, so I just really feel the burn. Same move that we did earlier. So I have that supported grip onto that chair, bench, whatever. Walk yourself back, have those toes and knees bent softly, and all parallel hip distance. We'll take the opposite leg. So that's my right foot taps back, left knee bent. We lift in three, two, one. So it's exhale, inhale, lift and lower. And remember the goal here is to try to make sure that everything is straight to the floor. Lift and lower. Exhale, inhale. High, low. High and low. One, lower. Two, and lower. So big lift in the sky. Exhale, inhale. Think about focusing on creating long lever lengths you have that soft bend and that supporting knee. Eight. Seven, touch the floor. Six. I'm shaking. Five. We just started. Four. And three. Two. One. Hold that leg long. Flex the foot. Hamstring curl. In and extend. So all the way in. Straighten. Bend. Straighten. Bend, straighten that heel, drives towards the glute. Straight leg, bend and extend. Guys, this is good news because you're almost done. You just gotta do these last reps on this leg and the rat workout is wrapped. Four, curl three, curl two, curl one. Let's hold the heel, pulse to the sky. Drive the heel, up. One and two. Make sure your hips are shining straight to the floor. Tiny lift. One and two. Up, up. Can you bring the heel closer? Can you lift your knee higher? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Straight the leg and pulse it out. Here we go. One and two. Option to get crazy. Lift that heel in the sky, lift, lift. One and two, one and two, you're done. And eight, seven, higher, six, five. The shakes are coming in. Three, two, one, and down. Woo! Booty on fire, thighs, quads, hamstrings, glutes, you name it. Thank you so much for working out with me. Um, that was a blast. If you have any questions uh, or comments, leave below. Let me know what you want to see next. Maybe more chair workouts or many more standing kind of upper body or lower body. It's all yours. What do you want? Leave a comment what you want to see next. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And if you do want to help support the channel, uh, I am taking donations for these workouts. So anything helps. If you want to support, uh, you can find all that information in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you next workout. Bye.